Oh, that's a goodie. It's a very good ball, that, and it's got his man. What a good bumper that was, and it gets rid of Graham Smith, the South African captain. Well, that was a beauty. We always talk about dropping a glove. Well, no chance of Graham Smith doing that. That was a hostile delivery. It wasn't all that short. It just took off. And what a start for the Australians. Well, that was just lethal, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, a better idea in a moment. But uh, when it comes to bowling aggressively and bowling just that little bit short or short to intimidate the batsman, it doesn't get a lot better than that. Smith gone for 10. Yep. Two for Johnson, two for Australia. And both openers gone. It was just a hint of width for Alviro Peterson. And now South Africa are in awful trouble. Whacked in. It's short. Maybe not wide enough for the square cut, but the outside edge is found. It's a simple catch for Brad Haddon. Australia jubilant. Their man is doing it again. South Africa lose Alviro Peterson for just two. South Africa are 15 for two. Oh, quick, too quick. Vicious. Johnson is the destroyer. South Africa are in disarray. One fifty point one kilometers per hour. Oh, that is pace. And for those around the rest of the world, that deal with miles per hour, he's into the 90s, high 90s. That was just too quick, uncomfortably quick. And at that height, not too easy to negotiate. That is trouble now for South Africa. Straight through him. Johnson again. Well, it's beautiful delivery. Through that gap between bat and pad. Clarence already had this covered. Let's just have a look at the front foot. No problem there half and half so that's a very good position as far as the front is concerned just comes back into the left hand at Ryan McLaren a fraction but I have to say that that gap that he left between bat and pad was big from the quicks good morning Robin Peterson well played as well by Robin Peterson he watched it well dropped his gloves let it go through so that was good technique Oh, that's a brute of a ball. That yeah. really is a brute of a ball, and he's picked up a wicket nice and early. Terrific start from Mitchell Johnson. Robin Peterson didn't know too much about that one. Well, that's that awkward angle Tom Moody was referring to against the left-hander in at the body. It was short, it was aggressive. Robin Peterson couldn't get the bat or the gloves out of the way, so that's the breakthrough. Australia won it first thing this morning. It's quick delivery right into the rib cage very very difficult if anything you can only go under and get out of the way but with leg slip in play with everything in play really batsman not established at the crease yet trying to find him find his feet but it's not going to be today peterson goes for 10. it's hurries catch is a call and he's got him oh that's a good catch really good catch that by david warner has timed his jump to perfection and got rid Oh, baby De Villiers. Well, it's a pity, isn't it? Because it was the final ball of the over. And you really felt that De Villiers was going to try and just try and steal a single somewhere. But Johnson bowls a slower ball. De Villiers doesn't get enough of it. It is a good catch from David Warner at middle. Times his jump to perfection. But it's a wonderful innings that comes to an end. A.B. De Villiers, he's fought man alone for South Africa. He goes for 91, South Africa are 202 for 9. You mentioned that South Africa 9 down, I mean, you're stating the obvious, but what sort of an effect do, does 
does this have on the South African attack? They spent a great deal of time out there, nearly 130 overs. It's just a 60-over break for them. That's him from around the wicket and Morkel couldn't get sufficiently behind that. Nicks it through to the keeper. A nasty delivery and Mitchell Johnson ends with seven. Well, he'd be pretty grumpy about having nicked this. I mean, he had every right to miss it. And then you're allowed to play and miss when you're number 11. First ball he gets. Climbs on in a bit, he has a little stab at it, and he get, finds an outside edge. Mornay Morkel makes his way off, and as H.D. Ackerman was beginning the conversation, just to get his bowling boots on and come out and bowl again. How H.D. he has got him! Johnson strikes, and Alvero's difficult match is over. Mitchell Johnson goes to 250 test wickets. He was superb in the first innings. He's just taken five deliveries to get going once again in the second. Exactly the start Australia would have been after and not what Ovira Peterson wanted. It's a decent length. He had to play at it in and around the top of off stump. Gets the outside edge. Comfortable catch for Haddon. Unfortunately for Peterson, he fails again. South Africa have lost their first. Mitchell Johnson, he's ecstatic. He's got Australia off to the start. Vera Peterson, he has to go for one. South Africa, 6 for one Man, Smith must stand tall and confront Johnson. Yeah! Oh, what a touch! You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. Neither does Graham Smith. Think of the, all the thought process that he would have been through. The last one he would have thought of being dismissed would have been caught short leg, flicking it off his legs. But it's a wonderful catch by the short leg. Here you can see Graham Smith, he cannot believe that he's middle delivery from Mitchell Johnson and it's been snapped up at short leg. Full in length, probably sliding down to the leg stump and he's hit it and there the positioning, you've got to give him credit for that, he's behind square, straight in, in the bread basket, up it goes and look how happy that slip cordon is. The second South African wicket is down. It's Alex Doolan, the catcher. Alex Doolan on debut, made runs in both innings and now pulls off an exceptional catch. Have a look at his body that never moves. We'll show it again in a minute. Smith's gone. It's 12 for two. Have to come up with something to combat the might of Johnson. Brad Haddon certainly has a, a real tough workout. Not easy for him in this test. That's uh, zipped away for four wides. He should take it. It's an extra ball. He's on fire. He's taking wickets. And if it's not given wide, he stitches his mate, the keeper. It's got him. Goodness me, that's another fine catch. That is amazing stuff from Alex Doolan. He is uh, exceptional in that region. The crowd here at Supersport Park is stunned. JP Dumini is also stunned. That is outstanding. Well, Johnson's got three, but I tell you what, Alex Doolan, they should go next, two of them should go next to his name, because these have been sensational catches for a man fielding at short leg. Again, that is just wonderful. Well, absolutely, it's the second one. This one probably even better. He was closer this time than he was earlier today when he caught Graham Smith so brilliantly. That one went up in the air and he caught it on a second attempt. I feel there for a long time myself and that is not easy to do. You're actually there to try and catch a ball that comes off a bat pad. But to catch it off the full face of the bat like that takes some doing. JP Dumini departs for 10. South Africa now in a lot of trouble. 128 for 5. Oh, what a take. There was a noise. Absolutely, definitely. The Australians heard a noise and there was a noise on the stump microvan. Now what it was, none of us can be sure. I'd be surprised if Hans could get as near to that bounce as the Australians suspect. Well, I think the noise was his heart jumping out of his chest. That just took off at great pace. Nasty, nasty delivery again from Mitchell Johnson. 
and the Australians are going to review it. It isn't a no ball. That's the first thing. What are we going to find out here? Hands are away from the body, so we should get a clue. Does that clip his under under his arm, maybe? Under his bicep? Yeah, I definitely think it's under the arm, off the bicep. Can we see anything on a hot spot? Is there something on the top of the wrist? No, it doesn't look as if there is. That's inconclusive. They can't possibly give that out. Nothing, no, nothing much on Snicko either. So it might have been a... There, maybe there. Just a clip of that uh, fleshy part of the underarm. Oh, nasty stinger. No kidding. Like the strike of a boomslang. Well, to be honest with you, I'd rather get one there than <laughs> where he got one before T, right in the side of the head. from Johnson he <laughs> one's turned down and he has a response too quick too good six down quality bowling here by Mitchell Johnson he's banged it in short two deliveries in a row one that was reviewed upstairs and not out the following delivery he bangs it in again this time it's on the offside it takes the glove through to Haddon for an easy catch and Mitchell Johnson strikes again it's been a torrid time for Ryan McLaren being hit on the helmet now he finds his glove. Mitchell Johnson's 11th wicket for the test match. Ryan McLaren has to go. He goes for six. South Africa, 140 for six. Oh, he's caught it! A short extra cover. And A.B. de Villiers, not dissimilarly from the way he went in the first innings, has to go. A real sadness around the ground. Yeah, for the second time, in this test match the slower delivery the cutter has got rid of Avi de Villiers not too sure why he was looking to go over the top he's been in such good touch and looking so comfortable it's a slow delivery he goes hard and a quality catch Smith it is he's taken it at short cover and South Africa have now lost his seven wicket de Villiers he played a wonderful innings of 48 but he has to go South Africa 1-5-1 one one for seven looking to swing the ball back into his pads Big shot this time from the Australians again. It came back a fraction. Off goes the finger. Richard Ellingworth says that's out, but Hashimamura has decided to stroll down to Dean Elgar and get some advice whether he should send that upstairs or not. Graham Smith again found Johnson's pace too much. Bam! Straight through. Ridiculously easy. Until he fell trying to uppercut Johnson. Out. Little edge as Zabi de Villiers goes to cut the ball. Asked him on his left who was going to go for four. They like that one. That's off the glove. In fact, Alvaro Peterson has gone straight away. So Mitchell Johnson has picked him up. Another quick delivery. It's the last thing South Africa wanted to break that stand of 53, but it's now happened. Yeah, they didn't need to be losing another wicket before lunch. But this is good ball again from Mitchell Johnson. He really banged it in, and it's straight. Tried to just ride it to get it down towards the fine leg position. Perhaps he could have decided to let it go, but I think he was remembering the earlier blow, deciding not to take another blow. Go so to oh. There's an edge, and he's taken. Mitchell Johnson has got a massive wicket here. Abu de Villiers has uh, been head and shoulders above anyone else in the South African lineup, and that is a huge wicket. Danger of Mitchell Johnson with the older ball when it goes across the right-hander. So he's pushed them back into the crease. Then he gets it up there, drifts it across. A bit of it is stuck in the crease as far as footwork is concerned. And Michael Clark, he doesn't miss too many. South Africa in trouble. A bit of it is gone for 14, 133 for five. Has he caught him? Yes, he has. A good catch by David Warner. Looking for the drive. He's had it go aerial into the gully area another one goes change of bowling works Mitchell Johnson again running this one across Faf de Plessis much like A.B. de Villiers earlier on he followed it a little bit off the outside edge 
And that's a breakthrough that Australia needed. That front foot is fine. No problem as far as that's concerned. And he goes across to see off the outside edge. And a good catch in the gun. Yeah, excellent catch. Went low, but once you're in that slip corner and you stay down, you know that you're okay. I'm going to join the Robin Jackman camp. I'm a bit tired of these dismissals, people hanging around, waiting to see if it was a no ball or not. Good innings, though, from Faf Duplessis. Six to seven, and he spent a long time at the crease. Two four to one for seven. It straight to person a comfortable height for Watson and it's Mitchell Johnson who gets another the hardness of the new ball is done for Del Stein edge is taken the ball's flowing to first look he's a quality catch for Watson I just want to have a look at the front foot surprise surprise just to make sure he's behind the line Mitchell Johnson's watching the screen thinking please 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 yeah you're fine Mitch just behind that's all good. So Mr. Johnson picks up another wicket. Uh, Stain have to be on his way. Here it is, back of a link. It flies through, healthy edge. And a comfortable catching heart there for Watson. Got to him probably quicker than he expected. Maybe a little uh, reaction tends to suggest that. The comfortable catch taken. Dale uh, Stain's resistance comes to an end. He goes for 28. So that could be 270. Mitchell Johnson again to the skipper, Graham Smith. And he's got him. There it is, Mitchell Johnson has got him again, that's it. That's the last innings from Graham Smith, a little bit of an inside edge and onto the five pad and popped up and he started walking straight towards the change room. It's the last time we're going to see Graham Smith representing South Africa. Not a great way for his career to finish, but uh, what a magnificent career it has been. All the Australians are clapping him off. Standing, give him a big round of applause. Just straight ends in the middle. There it is. The curtain comes down in a very distinguished career that of Graham Smith. There's been some wonderful performances, some awesome leadership, and some fantastic memories. Thank you, Graham. South Africa salutes you. Got him, bowled him, off stump, out the ground. What a sight for a fast bowler. Quality fast bowling here by Mitchell Johnson. Just tailing back at Dean Elgar. He found himself just falling over. And the stumps have been shattered. Excellent delivery. Again, the delivery further up. That was a top delivery. Just held its line off the seam. Angled in. Slight movement away off the seam. That would have got most top order players in world cricket today. Foolish in length, just straightens as it pitches. Off stumps out the ground and Mitchell Johnson has been the catalyst for a lot of their success over the last few months. He continues on his merry way. It's not a merry way for South Africa. That is T. Elga goes for naught. South Leg slip. In normal circumstances, you might say that's unlucky, but the field has been put there for that very reason. Mitchell Johnson has got the ball to tail into the left-hander. Nathan Lyon is strategically positioned at a very fine leg slip. It's a good catch because he'll be unsighted for a period of time. Off the face of the bat, straight in. Yeah, they planned that. They bowled for that. They set the field for that. So there is no bad luck there as far as J.P. Dumini is concerned. That was good planning by Michael Clark and Australia. In this series, no surprise, Mitchell Johnson at the top there, 21 wickets to add to. Can't remember how many he got against England, but it seemed like...